Well, he's basically saying that the man needs to turn himself in, that authorities at this point only want to talk to him. They want to question him because of the natural fact that he was the next-door neighbor to Greg Fall, the man who was killed. So that's why authorities say they want to talk to him. They don't say that they have any specific evidence that would link McAfee to murder. They don't say anything about murder charges. It's simply he was the next-door neighbor. The two apparently did, though, have a past, a run-in, and they've had problems over dogs. So there was contention between that neighborliness of the two. But right now, the plea coming from the prime minister, coming from authorities, is please, John McAfee, turn yourself in. Come in with somebody else if it makes you feel safer. Nothing will happen to you. They also worry very much about McAfee's state of mind, Jane. Well, didn't he, didn't the prime minister say that this guy was bonkers? Didn't he use the word bonkers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a wonderful I mean... British phrase, which essentially <laughs> means, you know, crazy. And that's the term that was used. He said that they believe he truly is crazy. Now, is it crazy because he may be on something? Is it crazy because in some way he may have mentally snapped? Or is it something more subtle that this is a man driven by fear and driven by paranoia? Uh, and is in responding in this way. But what they fear is that he's not rational, and that's their real concern. This is such a wild story, and I'm sure it's uh, uh, more will be revealed. Martin Savage, live from Belize. Now, following the murder, you just heard the prime minister of Belize saying that this guy is bonkers, meaning crazy. Several people say they've really become scared of McAfee. Listen to what this local realtor in Belize told ABC's Nightline. He said that he's paranoid. And I wonder if you've ever seen any evidence of that. I, I, certainly. I mean, it, it, any of us who live here on the island notice that when he's uh, moving about town, he's not alone. He's got his security personnel, his security guards with him. Uh, Joshua Davis, contributing editor to Wired. Uh, you have a fascinating take on this story because you have been talking to McAfee. Uh, he's calling you while he's on the run? It's That's unbelievable. Right. Wow. That's right. He's been calling me uh, since uh, early Monday morning, repeatedly throughout the day, throughout the night. Uh, he, he's very scared. Uh, he admits that he, he's paranoid, uh, but that he feels uh, at the same time that he's justified in his fear.